Hello everyone, my name is Arm, and welcome back to episode 7, if I'm right, of Undertale. So I wanted to start this episode off here because the menu has changed. Just, uh, but, oh, if you've played the game, you probably know this. But for those that haven't played the game, usually it's just Toriel in her chair reading there. But now, she's asleep, and now we have the Skeleton Brothers, Papyrus, and Sand standing there. So, am I correct in guessing that as we go along, we're going to get more people on this opening screen? I'm thinking so, the more people that we meet. So, with that out of the way, let's get into it. Okay, so, if you didn't see the last video, we dated Papyrus and things got weird. And I was warned beforehand that before that episode started, I was right at the weird part and I didn't really understand why. Now I do, but maybe there's more weirdness to come, I'm not sure. And while I'm thinking about it, I want to ask everybody's opinion that's watching this video now, if you take a moment of your time, it could be now or at the end of the video, leave me a comment and let me know, would you like to see a Factorio series? Because me, my cousin, and some of my friends, we, we have Factorio. I mean, my cousin was talking about it the other day, we would like to do a Factorio series, but would anybody watch it? So that's what I'm curious about. If you would watch it at home, please take a moment of your time and leave a comment down below letting me know if you would. So with that out of the way, let's get back into the game. So I recorded that episode yesterday and I did a favor for everybody watching at home. I went into Fraps, which is what, which is what I used to record, and I said, don't show my mouse cursor in the video because I was watching it back while editing it and I didn't like the look of that. I was just constantly staring at it. And I don't know if anybody at home has that problem, but I know I do. So, I want to start off by going to see our old pal Papyrus, if he's here. But I don't think he is. Maybe he's still out somewhere. But we have free access to his room. Okay, nothing seems to be changed in here. I don't want to go... Uh, what is this bit of paper here-ish? It's a beat-up pirate flag. Okay, so does that mean that these monsters don't age like we do? Do they age very slowly? Because if that's a pirate flag, you don't see pirate flags like that anymore. Or do, do we ever see them? I'm not sure. Oh, let me guess. Papyrus is going to want to fight me. No? Okay. I can't see anything. Okay. I didn't know. Is that wind gust? Am I gonna die? Or is that just. It must just be water. Hmm. Now I'm curious. That we saw that wolf throw those ice cubes. Does that mean something? Is that. Is that a thing? Is that a thing I should be aware of? Ooh! Okay, save point. Awesome. Let's just go ahead and do that. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination save yes also I've noticed something whenever the text comes across I usually tend to read it very fast like this the sound of rushing water fills your determination save but that just sounds way too weird and I don't like that so I'm gonna do my best to slow down take it slow and read things at a normal pace instead of trying to rush through it Ooh, flower all that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower no one can know. Okay. Who are you, you creepy looking fella? Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. Ah, reference to Flowey right there, ladies and gentlemen. I, I trusted him in the beginning. But now I don't. Now I just want to kill him. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Ha <laughs> ha. Are you trying to go see the girl in the town over there? Is that a girl? I'm not sure who you're talking about, and I'm, I feel uncomfortable with this question. Sans, buddy. Is that a mine shaft behind you? What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Oh, lovely. Oh, okay. 
That y indeed, indeed. Fast shortcut. Hey everyone. Hey Sans. Hey Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Ha! Here, get comfy. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Mmm. Is this another choice thing that's going to have a huge impact on the story? Now, when I go out to a fast food place, I don't know about you guys, but when you order, say, a Big Mac, you have the burger sitting on your plate, and then you have the fries. You're going to dig into those fries before you dig into that burger, because you can heat up a burger. But when you, if you try to heat up fries in like a microwave or even the oven, they suck. They're not as good. So I want some fries, please. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilby, we'll have a double order of fries. Oh, that's why he's called Grilby. Oh, I guess I should have got that sooner. So, what do you think of my brother? I like him, he's cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool, too, if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh, well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. But then it clings to you and it feels weird. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yes. 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 Give me some ketchup. Better yet, give me some chili cheese to go on top of them. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Eh. Forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. What? Um. He just scratched his booty. I don't think I want to eat his fries. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. Yep, that will do it, sir. You just don't deserve somebody's house at midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Okay, so now we've moved on to stalker level. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Cool, cool. I'll, I'll still eat the ketchup covered fries. I'll, I'll eat both. That's an option. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes, I've encountered said talking flower. And you know, so you know all about it. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery. Advice. Encouragement. Predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. So does that mean the echo flower that I saw over there by Sands is bad? Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's... Ho! Oh! Uh, n no, no, we're gonna have to dine and dash, buddy. <laughs> Just kidding. Groovy, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Okay. Um, can I at least have the fries, please? We didn't even touch the fries. Why get the fries? I don't know about you guys, but I like to dip my fries in the ketchup. Sometimes barbecue sauce, but I've never I've never tried chili cheese fries. I have to be honest with you. I think except from Wendy's that one time they had them, but other than that, nope. Never tried chili cheese fries, like homemade chili cheese fries. Oh, this sounds so good right now. Maybe I should just stop recording and go eat. Uh, it's tempting, but I must press on.
I, I am curious though. This echo flower that we saw here, is that evil? Is that bad? But I'm going to go ahead and save anyways, just in case, because I don't want to have to read that dialogue again. I know it. All that gives me, all that gives my life, validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. Okay. Let's hang out again sometime. Okay. Um. Since Papyrus gave us his cell phone number. Let's try to call him, but I want to see if Toriel will pick up. Oh, that still breaks my heart. It really does. Alright, call an old Papyrus. My brother has a station here. Yes, he mans two stations at once. Amazing, isn't it? He slacks off twice as much as normal. Yep. That's true. He even told me that. What is that? Rocks? This is a box. You can... Okay, so it's the same box that I've seen before. A box hey oh so the first one was a box lover oh okay didn't know that was gonna happen so we can just actually wait out there eh eh yes but I'm curious what's down here my curiosity is gonna get oh it's a blue flower I swore I saw something behind that rushing water oh are you telling me secrets Hmm. I smell secret. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. That's got to be a secret. Eh. Hmm. So, do I just go and spam Z? Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Okay, so I was right. But why is there a camera behind the waterfall? Does that mean somebody's watching me? If so, one, that's creepy. And two, is it Flowey? Is Flowey the one... Like, is this like some kind of game? Well, pun, yes. Oh, look at the shading. That's cool. Hmm. There's a camera behind the waterfall in a place you wouldn't normally think to look. Does that mean that Flowey is stalking us? Oh, okay. I'm just going to spam Z and... Hello, Papyrus. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Oh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh, did I fight them? Y yes yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Oh, 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 hell. No. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself. But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see? You see... Papyrus, be careful, man. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Okay, so... What was that about? Oh, I just got myself into a whole lot of trouble. That's a big spear. Don't move. Don't move. Don't do anything. Uh, did I screw myself up? Okay. Does that mean I can't go back in there? So, okay. We've discovered something. It seems like Undyne, who looks very menace menacingly menacingly if that's a, that's the right word to use there definitely one of the bad guys we can tell that right off the bat I may be wrong but that's just the impression that I'm getting and Papyrus wants to be our friend we could see that but now it seems like he's still wanting to be a part of the Royal Guard he's gonna do anything in his you know power to do that so is he gonna be put in the position of having to capture us or dying I don't know I don't know. Uh, oh, this is so bad to think. Hello. Where'd you come from, little guy? Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> come on. Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. 
Okay, you were very hyper. You were a very hyper child. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Okay, we'll save. We'll press on for a little bit longer. We got a little bit more time. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. So, do I just pick up the seed? Okay. And boom. Alright, just line these guys up. Easy peasy. Although, in this game, if something seems easy, it's usually not. Okay. But, but let's go here and let's just spam Z. Because something tells me there's secrets hidden. All about here. Like right here. Dang it. That one little tear on the wall made me think there was a secret there. Wait. Aaron flexes in. Um. Let's flee. Education. Hobby talent. Oh, God. Oh, no. I'm surprised I did that. Aaron is admiring his own muscles. Okay, okay. You know what? I'm going to try this. Aaron. Flex. You flex. Aaron flexes is twice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Oh, no, no. Oh. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Flex again. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Okay, I can do this. This is not that hard. It seems hard, but it's not that hard. Whew. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Alright. Let us flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. Ha! I outflexed Aaron. What is that sign? How do I get to that sign? Please let me get to the sign. Please. Why is that there? Is that is that like a sign you can only get if you cheat so I see no way hmm let me know if I can get to that sign maybe I'll figure out uh, oh oh okay 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 boom I just make a little bridge ha this is what I get for actually exploring the area I just I just screwed up didn't I Oh. Can I go out and come back in this area? Because I've just... I was a dummy. And I totally screwed up. Yay. Okay. So that's not going to work at all. What does this say? If an error is made, the bell blossom can call the bridge seeds back to where they started. Oh, so I don't need to reset the area. Okay. Um. So do you go... That's going to be three, though. Let's ring the bell. Hmm. A puzzle. So, we have four seeds. But, according to what we read earlier, they're not going to sprout unless there are four of them in a row. I don't see that. That sign. That's got to be something. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it, I got it. Alright, let's try this. Toss, toss that in the water. Please toss it in the water. Okay. Now, here comes the challenge. I need to get a seed there. I... No, it didn't work. Alright, ring the bell. I think that sign's got something to do with it. But it is, I'm not sure. We have to get to it, because apparently there's something there. I just don't know what. Hmm. Okay, so there's a four space long gap here. Problem is you can't toss the seeds down there. Why not? I don't know. The game just won't let us. What if I did did it parallel to the bridge. Boom. Toss the seed. That's it. I'm an idiot. It's official. I am an idiot. Don't know why I didn't think about that. Boom. Come hither. You go there and last one coming up. 
What's with the freaking thing, man? He made it a thing. Computer, don't die on me. Eh. Alright, good, good, good. What's this? Read the sign. Oh. Oh, let me guess. I should have put him down the other way. Dang it, I'm a double idiot. I thought I had it. I thought I figured the thing out. Apparently not. Oh, boy. Okay. I am sorry for anybody that's watching watching this. If you're if you've made it to this point, you deserve a trophy because <laughs> I I honestly can't see why you're still here. I mean, stay here if you're still here. That's great. Also, I hate these mushrooms cuz I keep thinking I'm lagging, but then I remember I shouldn't be lagging. There's no way I should be lagging. Then I remember, oh yeah, these mushrooms. I hate mushrooms. Boom. Congratulations. You failed the puzzle. What? Okay, that's a troll. Oh my, really? Really? We we we're just we're just doing that. What? How? Why? How? How could I fail the puzzle? Okay, we just got trolled hard. There's a way over there. What happens, though, if I put these down this way? Are you just going to disappear? There's four, but there's, there's no point. I, I will, I'm going to come back when I figure out how to do this puzzle. Okay, so, it took a bit of time, longer than I would have expected, but, boom, we did it. That's tricky. And that sign, I hate it. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequen sequentially until I got yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, be aware. Uh, n uh, that's that's a very inappropriate question, and I wish not to answer. I'm asking for a friend. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like we all haven't used that excuse before. She thought. Uh, she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? What will you- Yeah. Yep, yep. I feel a little creeped out, but maybe he needs some attention. And I don't know. Let's continue with the weirdness. So you are wearing a bandana. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Okay. At least when Toriel called us, it was nice. It was sweet. It was loving and caring. He does it. And I want to file a restraining order. Okay, I'm just gonna move on. Oh crap, flowers. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes into the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing room. Ooh, can I go home now? Thousands of people wishing together cannot be wrong. The king will prove that. Washua shuffles up. Oh god. Can I just run from him? Nope. Oh no. How? How? Oh no, 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 no. Please, please don't do this to me. Don't do this to me right now. Why? 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 I, you tell me to stay determined every time, but I want to just jump off the roof. Please don't do this. Oh, all right. I'm going to come back when I get back to that point. Okay, we're back. Did I ever tell you guys that I'm not a puzzle person? And I failed the simple bridge puzzle twice trying to get back here? No? Okay, well, I did. I saved, so I didn't have to, so I won't have to fight that Aaron flexing guy. We gotta do this. Why? Um. Let's clean. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Washua is rinsing off a pizza. It's a joke. You tell a joke about a kid who slept in the soil. Washua's powers neutralized. It's too dirty. Ah. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? It hit. It hurt me. You just said neutralized. 
Washua wonders if tears are sanitary. Touch. You reach out. Washua recoils from your touch. Stop. Stop. I hate these things. What should I do? Clean. I'm gonna die. I don't have to do this again. I just know it. Wash was looking for some good, clean fun. How about we joke? Uh, no. I'm still gonna dodge them as best I can. Yeah, 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 game. Tears are neutralized, but yet you get hurt. Clean me again. How, how can we spare you? See, I, I've been told you can spare every creature in the game but then there's some creatures that I come across and I just can't but wonder how do I because it doesn't seem possible this humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world oh oh dear oh dear aha okay he doesn't want us to touch him so just clean us Nothing else happens. Oh. Oh, please. Oh, did I get HP back? No, I got nothing. Washua is friends with a little bird. Oh, I can spare him now. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I had to do. Mercy, spare. Oh, I did it with 6 HP. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. I wish my sister and I will, s will see the real stars someday. What about this? Look through the telescope. Yes. Uh, oh. Check wall. That's. Oh, that is dirt to the T. Check wall. Okay. So let's get out of here. Check this flower. Ah. Seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Okay, so I said check wall up here. Oh, secret passage. Hello. Can I get somewhere where I can save, please? I really don't want to die. Agent writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. I, I should go back and save. I feel like I should... I, I, I have to. I have to. Like, something's just... I curse myself. No. No, no, no. No. Spare. Oh. Cool. Cool, can, can I just do that every time? I know it seems like a long episode, and I apologize. Really do. Really do. But we're, we're gonna make it through. We're gonna make it through. Okay, here we go. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Yes. Boom. So now, I shouldn't have to fight the flexing Air Aaron guy or the Washua. Bad thing is, I only have 6 HP. And I wish that was a positive thing, but something tells me I could do a whole lot better. But what are you going to do? No, 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 no. Stop. Flee. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to die. As soon as I get the words out of my mouth, I'm dead. Oh, I got 20 HP. Oh. Okay, alright, I feel better about my life. Okay. Alright. Let's just get through this. Clean me. Eh. 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 Dang it. Now. How did I get the thing? How did I get the green tears? Green means clean. Okay. Uh, he's friends with a little bird. Okay, that's the trick to defeating a Washua. Yes! Alright, I'm a pro at this. Alright, um, what about this? Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. 
But humans have one weakness, ironically. It is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. Oh, kind of like heaven? Is that a way? Maybe? If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable, pa unfathomable power. Is that why Undyne wants my soul? So she, air quotes now, she can be more powerful. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Probably because it's so... Oh, hello. A weird looking creature. Let's just keep walking. Moonwalk. I got a bad feeling. Yep, the lighting's changed. That means bad feeling. Oh, crap, we're dead. Hey, Undyne. Oh, God. I didn't know this was boss battle time. Stop. Oh, golly. Stop. Let's just run. Let's just run. I think if I do this, I can outrun every spear. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop. Stop. Crap, crap, crap. What? I don't know what to do. I need an adult. This is not okay. This is not okay. Oh, my God. Just stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, that's not fair. That's not okay. Hey, 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 hey. What did I do? What did I do? I am, like, nearly dead. Oh, snap. Nobody make a sound. Nobody say anything. Oh. No. Oh my god. Just straight up punched his eye out of his face. That's not... Oh, that's that's so tragic. Oh, that's not cool. Oh my god. I can't believe what I just saw. Are you alive? Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left... Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. I don't want to see her again because my health is 1 HP. Let's, let's, let's count it. 1 HP. I don't like I want to see her again. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you, save point. No the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal. It fills you with determination. And save. Oh my lord. Okay, talk about a stressful episode. But we made it. Uh, I don't think I want to see Undyne again. I don't know what's with that little monster. But I never want to see her again. Because I don't know if I'm supposed to have survived with just 1 HP. Or I just got really lucky. I don't know. Leave me a comment down below letting me know. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave a comment letting me know what you're thinking of the series and what you thought of this episode. Just please, no spoilers for me and for those watching at home. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support. And I will see you guys in episode 8 of Undertale.